Wanted to do a quick overview of the new Tesla wall connector that was just released. This is the one with Wi-Fi. Uh, it's in a new box compared to the old one and it looks completely different. This is a big redesign compared to the old connector. So let's see what we have inside. Right here on the lid it says, thank you for accelerating the world's transition to sustainable energy. No, thank you. Anyway, let's get going. So side connector is where you put your, um, your plug, still the same. The front is now a thick um, glass instead of plastic. And the overall connector is smaller than it used to be. So, and it's actually quite heavy. It's heavier than it used to be because it has a glass front. So let's see what's under here. We have an 18 foot cable, which is a little short. If uh, you previously had a 24 foot cable, um, depending on where you mount it, that is a little short. Uh, we have our quick start guide and we have an alignment for uh, drilling your holes, uh, depending on how you mount it. And let's look at this end connector to see if they've changed anything. So yes, they have changed the end connector. They're, the old one has more of a, a texture to it to help you hold it. The new one's smoother. Um, I think the fit and finish is a little bit better on the new one. The button feels the same but there are differences in this, uh, this new connector. Let's just compare them here. You can see them side by side. That's a new one on the right and the left one, the one on the left is the old one. The contactors here are different. They changed the design. Um, the metal pins in there are different spacing. It looks like, um, my older one is, you know, it's been used a bunch. So obviously it's dirty and it's not going to look the way it did new, but they definitely changed these center pins for alignment. Okay, so now let's get to this, uh, the size difference between them. This is the faceplate from my old one um, and comparing it to the new one. The, the new one is definitely about an inch shorter than the old one. Now the old faceplate was removable it's plastic, you undid the screw and you could pop it off. I don't see a removable feature on this. If there's a way to remove it, I haven't found it. There's not a screw. Um, I'm not you know, going to try to take this apart. It doesn't budge when you, you pull on it. So here's the quick start guide. It shows a Model 3 in here instead of you know Model S or X. Um, we have the different wiring configurations, uh, the lights that you'll get, depending on how many amps, uh, what it does on startup, the wiring, um, where to attach your uh, zip tie, turning it on, all of that fun stuff. Now, to, to get into it, you pull off this back piece, and right from the start, this is different than the old one. You know, the most of it's contained in this front piece. And there's these two contacts, which it doesn't mention what they're for in the manual. Uh, and then you have these, the bigger ones here, that looks like it might be a sensor right there. And then if you look on this back piece, they completely changed the way that these contactors work. The old ones were hard to get tight and uh, could cause fires if you didn't tighten them properly, which was common. They had like these little metal blocks that would come down and uh, the new ones are definitely improved there. Uh, you can just slide the wires right in and then you turn these the, from there and it'll tighten down onto it. It comes with the screws you need to mount it and a zip tie to tidy up your internal wiring here. You can mount it, the wiring from the bottom or the top and that's pretty much it. So that's a quick overview and see you guys next time.